Perry Smith. Shalom. There's a kill to free kick on their halfback line. Out to the half forward flank in the direction of Burns. And coming over the top is Big Crow. Opportunity for uh, Burns here. He falls at the crucial moment. Pickin is quick to seize on that uh, fumble and gets it out to Edwards. Edwards moves along, along quickly to the half forward line, taken here by Dacos. Dacos in towards Richardson again, knocked away from him by Jelly. And uh, the St Kilda man, perhaps a little unfortunate to be penalised there, but a free kick to Richardson in towards Anir, and a chance for Collingwood again from only 50 metres out directly in front. St Kilda leading by four points. John Anir, a chance to give Collingwood the lead once more. Yes, he's done it. Collingwood in front again. In time on in the third term, and what a topsy-turvy struggle it's been. Great play, Saru, to Keel. Lane in front, Taylor the spoiler. Daryl Cunningham goes for goal. The Saints are back in front. Lionhearted Saru knocks it down again. Another bounce to be affected right in the centre. Saru versus Cloak. Cloak getting it down this time to Williams. The Collingwood skipper to the half forward line looking for Morwood. Cowie is there. Good defender, gets it across to Fabian. He's played well. Got a good hand pass to Saru. It comes towards Cloak. Cloak kicks it deliberately and straight to John Anir. Anir moves it quickly. The player making position beautifully, Richardson. And he's come right into the game for Collingwood. And he's got an opportunity now to score again. This will be his, uh, that was his sixth mark. And he's already kicked a couple of goals. Kill to have the lead by four points at the moment as Richardson lines up his 13th kick. Good kick. Oh, he's put it through. That's a good goal to Richardson. His third. And Collingwood take the lead again. Six goals each in the third term. Tremendous struggle. And a great struggle in the ruck. Cloak winning this time. Here goes Walsh. Floyd getting it out to Cloak who's doing well at the moment. Richardson again. Oh, he dropped his head and spilled a sitter. Anir, who's doing well. Richardson once more. Barham. Fellows. Jumped all over him. Play on. Barham again. Lovely sidestep. Out on the floor. Defences of both sides being put under tremendous pressure by the quick running game. Upfield from both teams as Elphinstone kicks it back. Taken here by Mark Williams, the Collingwood captain, and plays it down towards uh, the forward pocket again. Dacos, a kick from an impossible angle. And that's what it proves to be as it goes across goal and a throw in coming up once more. Fellow's doing the ruck work with Saru, who wins. Cowie, back to Saru. Big fellow, good enough to get out of trouble. Reigns comes from behind, Smith. Smith's got it. Well played. Well done by the Saints. Meehan drives towards Crow. Taylor the spoiler. Picking. Well played. Walsh. Burn. Looks for Morwood. Yes! Not so well done by Cowie then. He was in good position but stood flat-footed while Morwood chipped in beautifully to take his ninth mark. And he lines them up now from 40 metres out directly in front. He's kicked three. And a dozen kicks. And he's been an excellent play. Gives the Woods that little bit of breathing space. They're eight points in front. 
down by Cloak on this occasion, giving an opportunity for Floyd, who can't do anything with it. Kick back by Shawan, goes to the wrong player, and John O'Neill, who's been a good player this quarter, to the Collingwood half forward line. The marking defence taken by Elphinstone, out on the half back line, and he quickly moves the ball down towards Burns, leaving out from the St Kilda half forward flank. He hesitates momentarily, but then recovers well, and now Burns kicks it further downfield. Looking to he doesn't let him down. It's been an excellent duel between Max Crow and Billy Pickham today. And that's the sixth mark taken by Crow, the former bomber. Gets it downfield. And there's the man who helped him get it. And that's Burns. Who's got it from only 45 metres out. Collingwood leading by eight points. Greg Burns will surely make the distance. Almost three-quarter time. The distance is there. And so is the accuracy. Two goals to Burns. And now Collingwood lead by the slender margin of two points. Well, one of the highest scoring matches of the season. They've kicked seven goals each in this quarter. Burn in trouble. Jeff Cunningham. Fabian, Elphinstone, Saints into attack again, off Burns' hands, ball up, half forward line for the Saints. A very long third quarter, over the top of the ball is Billy Pickett, and he'll get the free kick for being pushed in the back. Billy Pickett, a player who uh, every week gives his best for the Collingwood side, kicks it back towards Morwood, who's been an excellent player, comes to Reigns. Reigns looking for someone to give it to, decides to kick it high. Out to the flank, Dacos out of position. And a good mark taken by Fiddler. On St Kilda's half-back line. Looks for Burns, who's got a couple to beat. Waiting down Sharon. Plenty of pace. Too much for Cloak. Smith lines them up. Saints back in front. Terry Smith second. What a game we've got here at Moorabbin. Five minutes gone. Dacos puts Collingwood into attack. He's having a run on the ball. Fiddler out in front. What paid the mark? Jelly. Middle miss. Sharon, oh, nicely out of trouble, he had two coming at him hard, lots of pace, Lane, Sharon still going, now he's gone, ball up, both cheer squads hooting their heads off, both in total disagreement with the umpires. Gee, what a great game Dean Sharon has played, has played for uh, St Kilda. A free kick now goes to David Cloak. St Kilda fans are venting their disapproval as he gives it across to Taylor, who kicks it into the centre. Chance here for Peter Dacos, Mr Magic for Collingwood, he's on that half-forward line, and then he swings his play, the play in with his kick to Richardson, who can't quite reach it, kicks it off the ground and can't get there before it's over the line. Gee, it's a game of fluctuating fortunes, tremendous effort by both teams. Collingwood, a two-point advantage. Fellows against Cowie. Keel. Middle miss. Fiddler. Boots the Saints. Temporarily out of trouble. Pick it under it. This contest with Crow really has been one of the highlights. Towards Dacos. He's the man who could really uh, pull this out for Collingwood lead from Richardson but Dacos is having a shot from a long way out he's 60 meters from goal but is a beautiful kick spiral punt there's a gem great goal Peter Dacos Collingwood leading by eight points Saru battling hard again kicked forward by Tony Shaw Collingwood in attack once again the ball running down towards uh, Jeff Raines Reigns a quick hand pass across to Dacos again with this goal number five. That's a shot by Dacos. Oh, that's caught. Cool. That's great. 
That's five goals to Peter Dacos. As they've done in every quarter, Collingwood have broken away to a lead of 14 points, but uh, St Kilda have had the habit of hitting back. Dacos again. Morewood. Shaw. Dacos. Magic. Well, he has cast his spell in the last two minutes. He goaled at the seven and a half minute mark. He goaled again at the eight minute mark. And now at the nine and a half minute mark, he lines them up again from only 30 metres out. He's kicked five. Hard-fought win to the Magpies. They beat the bottom team, St Kilda, by 16 points after the lead had fluctuated many times during the day. 24 goals to 21, a great exhibition. Day cost six goals, Shane Morewood five, Fellows, Williams and Edwards each kicked two. For the Saints, Brown four, three apiece to Sharon, Crow and Meehan. All coming up to Morewood. Morewood beautifully breaks the tackle. All coming downfield, Keel's got it. Kill to Terry Smith. Smith will deliver it. Shot into an open goal. Great play by Peter Keel. Billy Pickham beautifully uh, traps it and then uh, gets grabbed around the neck. Should have got the free. Crow to Keel. Keel across to Sharon. Sharon into an open goal and he's done it again. Long hand pass to Philip Walsh. Conning it into attack now, but they're not kicking the ball accurately to their forwards. Knocked away by Fabia. There's Peter Dacos. Infringes against Fabia. Should have been penalised. Dacos has got it now. He's on the half forward line. He kicks it in. That's a good shot. Elphinstone defending there. Jelly tried to come through. Shane Morwood again. Plenty of class. Uh, this player looks for Dacos. Mark Williams is there. 21. Jelly's 24. Tries to get it away from him. Somehow Williams gets it. To Shane Morwood. To Dacos. Dacos from an acute angle. And there somewhere is uh, Paul Morwood. Morwood is rescued though by Jeff Rains. And he moves beautifully as always. Down towards Shane Morwood. He's got it on this occasion. Edwards turns, a long kick. That's a good shot by Edwards. That's a great goal. And Williams, Reigns, good play out of the centre. Edwards, this is a great move by the Magpies. Can they kick a goal from the centre bounce? Yes, I think they've done it. Lane having his uh, first run. Daryl Cunningham. Meehan lines them up. Drives it through. From the half-back flank, kicks it to the half-forward line looking for Edwards, but behind him, the big fellow, Cloak. Looks towards Crow, picking again! Way go the Magpies as uh, there's a scuffle behind play. Cloak, good run by the big fellow. Edwards, back to Cloak. This is a good move by Collingwood. Richardson can line them up. Well played, the Magpies. Hanaberry gets it. Now the Magpies in attack again. It's on their half-forward line. Oh, what a mark that was to Cunningham. 